Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this tutorial is going to show you how to export your customized character from the Spider RPG Heroes art pack. First off, when you're done with your character, be sure to save it. So you just click this little save icon here on the character maps palette, and then navigate to wherever you want to save the character data. In my case, I'll just save on the desktop. There we go. So now that I've saved the character, I'm going to uh, let's quickly walk through the different animations we have. This customize animation, as I mentioned in the previous video, is just a very easy, convenient way to uh, customize your character and see how the character is going to look both in the large portrait and in the sprite, uh, the uh, walking animations. And then you have the large portrait. And then this one's important. This is the full sprite sheet. So what that means is it has everything you need, the uh, three frames each of walking in each of the four directions that an RPG game uses. And then we have the walking uh, in each separate direction separately. So we have walking downward, rightward, leftward, and upward which animation you're going to export and how you're going to export it is going to depend greatly on uh, what your needs are for any particular game engine or authoring system. Uh, for something like RPG Maker, you would want to export just the default portrait, and then you can crop that however you need, and then the full sprite sheet. So before we do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is take care of the uh, sort of trimming guide image that's in all of these walking animations. So you'll see these little corner markers here. That's a guide to let you know if you end up adding or customizing art to make sure you don't go outside this area where your character is going to be trimmed. Um, and But what you want to do before you export your character is to make sure this becomes hidden because you don't want these little corner markers to be in your sprite sheet. So to do that, you just look for, right up at the top, there's a, uh, a character map called Hide Clipping Guide, and you make sure you make that active, and you'll see that those guides, those corner guides have now disappeared. So now you're ready to export the actual sprite sheet. So now we're just going to go into File, Export Animation to PNG or GIF, and um, basically the sprite sheet, standard sprite sheet for engines like RPG Maker, is three frames across by four separate animations. So that would be 12 images, but or you can just choose keyframes only. And then uh, you wanna make sure it's, uh, assuming you want your export to be 100% size, you make sure that says 100%. Um, and then you want to export sprite strip or sprite sheet. And you want to increase the horizontal frames to three, so oops, to three. So now you see you have three by four, and make sure your background is not set to fill. So make sure this is not checked off, and make sure there's no watermark uh, checked off, and make sure this says instead of the default trim rec to animation, what we want is set to animation preset, and that's because I created a custom preset uh, cropping. A guide for this animation that it's going to trim to. You choose set to animation preset and now we're ready to go. Click export and then you just need to pick somewhere to export your animation. We'll call it sprite sheet and export. So now you can see if I minimize this I have my sprite sheet on the desktop and if I open it up You'll see I have the sprite sheet. You can't really tell in this uh, photo gallery, but the background is transparent. And I have the uh, full arrangement of the sprite sheet as needed by authoring systems like RPG Maker. Okay, so let's say that we know we need for our particular game a fairly close-up square uh, portrait shot for, for instance, um, dialogue scenes and things like that. So what I can do, just to show you how this um, setting a custom cropping for a given animation works. If you look up here, you'll see this little cropping square icon in the animations palette. So you select the animation you want to affect and you click on this rectangle here and you're going to get a pink background and then this gray uh, rectangular area which it automatically computes based on the, the images, 
I had already set it up though, so it's uh, it's already cropped the way I might have wanted it. But as you can see, uh, if you hover toward any of the edges of this gray rectangle, you'll be able to left click and drag to set the cropping exactly how you'd like. So as I said, let's say we need a fairly square crop. Now you can see how that's working. And then you can see here, this gives me the actual coordinates and the final width and height of the, um, uh, of the animation. And then you can apply it to all animations, which of course we do not want to do in this case, uh, and all animations and all entities. There are no entities in this art pack, but uh, so we won't really get into that. But you don't want either of these checked off. And then if you just click apply, the next time you go to export that particular animation, uh, it will be uh, exported with that cropping. So I will do that. So now we're going to pick separate number and just one image because it's just one one frame for this portrait. Um, and everything else is okay. And I'm going to click export. And once again, I'm just going to tell tell it where to save and what name. And now if I'm in my Spryder, we'll see on the desktop that cropped portrait with transparent background cropped exactly how I set it. But this is a very high resolution uh, character sprite. Uh, so let's say you need um, more standard size character sprite for RPG games, such as 48 by 48 pixel sized frames or 32 by 32 pixel sized frames. You have two options for that. You can, after the fact, or even while exporting, uh, let me show you. So let's say I'm exporting this full sprite sheet. You can see here, I have the ability to reduce it to whatever percentile I need. So I could do the math and figure out um, to what percent I should export. Or you could scale it down after the fact with a program like uh, Photoshop or Krita or uh, something like that. But what if you want the hand pixel painted look? Well, that's why the art pack comes with these other sizes. So here you can see we have a 48 folder. So let's load that SCML up. And here's that little pixel art version of uh, the female in general. Now we just need to go into character maps and load back in our character that we previously saved from the desktop. Here it is. There we go. Complete with the custom colors. And now remember to export, we're going to want to hide the clipping guide. And now we have the pixel art version of the character, including the full sprite sheet with all angles. So now you just do the same thing. You would go into file, export make sure it's set to animation preset which it is it's going to be 12 frames or just set it to keyframes only set it to sprite strip make sure you set it to three horizontal frames 100 percent and make sure these are not checked and that's it so now i'm going to save this on my desktop and we'll call this 48 email sheet and now you can see I have the full pixel art version of the character in uh, 48 by 48 uh, pixel art mode and you can do the same thing of course in 32 by 32 but the workflow is exactly the same so I won't bother showing that and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching